Okay, uh, right now I'm going to do a quick video review of the True Fire Edge Fold Back Release. For all you archers out there, you know what this is. For any of you firearms persons, you might not know. Um, instead of grabbing that bowstring, two fingers, three fingers, you know, however you used to grab it, they now have your release that you just put through this little loop that's on your line, pull it back, pull the trigger, and away it goes. So it saves your fingers, it's a lot more controlled, it makes it more mechanical. Um, and it saves your fingers, especially on a super cold day. So, first thing I want to talk about is the trigger pull. I really, really like the trigger pull in this. It is very, very smooth. The spring system underneath makes it a very level pressure trigger pull, and I can go slow until I pull all the way back and I get a good clean release. I feel like it makes me a lot more accurate, and I feel like it makes me a lot more consistent. Um, it's just like a trigger pull on a firearm. You just relax and you pull and you know and, and swing through. Uh, it's the same way with the release here for, for the archers. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is underneath here, you'll see this marking allows you to screw it in and actually adjust it. You can go an inch down, you know, or an inch out. And the reason I like that is, you know, if, if you've only got one release in the house and maybe you or your wife shoots or a, a kid shoots with you and they want to try it, you've got that flexibility for the different sizes of hands that you can go in quite a ways. And the other reason I like it is, is sometimes you'll be hunting in the spring or the fall and it's it's not very cold out yet. So you don't have a glove or you have a very light glove and your release is going to fit a lot different than when you have a cold weather glove on and it's really bulky. So this allows you to go out um, when you have a bulky glove on or dial it in and shorten it up for when you have no gloves or a very, very light glove. So that's really cool. I dig that. Um, on the back, how it actually attaches, there's a buckle just like you would see on a belt buckle that comes across and then there's an elastic strap with this little rubber pull tongue on the top, on the side to give you a good grip to pull on this makes sure it sits tight now right here there's a little latch now that little secure latch takes care of all your excess and keeps you from flapping around with anything so you're not making noise you're not getting it stuck on stuff um, or you're not tearing it so that's how it attaches this is how it adjusts back and forth I love the trigger pull it's great um, the number one thing, I, the reason why I like this, and I think most people would actually buy it, is because it is the fullback design. So right here, there's a bearing inside of here on this ring that it sits on. And you can see it takes a little bit of pressure and then it snaps. And it's back, and it's very difficult to flip over unless you're doing it intentionally. There's a lot of tension there, so you can't, it's not just going to fall down on you and whack in the way. The reason why I like that is because before you go out in the field, you can have your release on your hand, and once you get in your tree stand or your blind, or if you're stalking, it's really it's one less thing to have to mess around with. Stop, put on, take off your release, because now you can, you can use this hand. It's totally functional. And then when you're ready to fire your setup wherever you want, you just flip it down, and you're good to go. So that's pretty cool. True fire releases, I've heard a lot of good things about them when I first got started. I'm fairly new to archery. I just started last year, um, which is probably why I like the trigger pull rather than the thumb. But uh, it's, it's a really good release. It's really strong. It looks like it's double or triple stitched. So I think it's going to last years and years to come. Um, the pricing on these vary quite a bit. This particular Edge version that I have runs about $75 when I picked it up, which is a little on the higher end for releases. I mean, there's releases that cost much, much more than that. Um, there's also releases that cost $20. So my suggestion to you would be to go out and actually try some at an archery shop, see what feels good on your hand, see if you like a trigger pull, if you prefer a thumb, get out there and get some exposure to it. Uh, but now you know why I like the True Fire and uh, why I think I, you would probably like it too. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.